Hello and welcome everyone to this channel. My name is Kumar Saurabh and today in this video tutorial we will learn about the Python SciPy confidence interval. Let's see what we are going to cover in this video. First we will know about SciPy confidence interval in Python. After this Python SciPy confidence interval t distribution then we will understand Python SciPy confidence interval linear regression. And we will also learn about Python SciPy confidence interval difference. Then we will understand Python SciPy confidence interval sample. At the end, we will know about Python SciPy confidence interval binomial. So before moving, let me tell you that we have detailed post about Python SciPy confidence interval. The link to the post is given in the below description. Now move to the first topic. SciPy confidence interval in Python. A set of values known as a confidence interval is one that is highly likely to include a population value. A population mean is typically expressed as a percentage when it falls between two ranges. Confidence intervals are used to assess how certain or uncertain a sampling method is. A 95% or a 99% confidence level is the most common, though they can use any number of confidence levels. Confidence intervals are calculated using statistical techniques like the t-test. For instance, a researcher might randomly choose various samples from the same population and compute a confidence interval for each sample to see how accurately it represents the true value of the population variable. All of the resulting datasets are distinct. Some intervals include the actual population parameter while others do not. But what exactly does a 95% or 99% confidence interval mean? A range of figures within which you can have a 95% or 99% degree of certainty that the genuine population mean are contained is known as the confidence interval. If the sampling process were repeated several times, approximately 95% of the intervals obtained may capture the genuine population mean. Let's move to the next topic, Python SciPy confidence interval t-distribution. The t-distribution describes the normalized gaps between sample means and population means. When the population in standard deviation is unknown and the data come from normally distributed population. The t-distribution, commonly referred to as the student t-distribution, is a collection of distribution that resemble the normal distribution curve but are little shorter and fatter. The t-distribution is used instead of the normal distribution when there are few samples. As the sample size grows, the t-distribution resembles the normal distribution more. For sample size greater than 20, the distribution actually resembles the normal distribution very closely. A range of values that with a certain level of confidence are likely to include the population mean is known as a confidence interval for a mean. The t.interval function of the scipy.stats python library can be used to create a confidence interval for a population mean if our sample size is small, for example, fewer than 30. Let's understand with an example. Import the required libraries or method. So here we are importing module stats from scipy and also importing numpy as np. Execute the code. Then we are creating a sample data, execute the code. Next we are using the method t.interval and pass the some parameter values. Like here alpha is equal to 0 0.95 which represent, which represent the confidence level equal to 95%. Then we have passed the mean of the sample data length of the sample data then we have passed the standard error of the sample mean execute the code as we can see the confidence interval for t distribution is from 17.764 to 24.235 this is how to compute the confidence interval for t distribution Move to the next topic, Python SciPy confidence interval linear regression. A linear least square regression is carried out for two sets of measurements using the method linregress included in the Python SciPy package scipy.stats. 
here we will determine the confidence interval for the slope and intercept of the calculated linear regression between the two variables x and y. The syntax of the method is as follows. Where parameters are x, y, which is the two sets of measurements that exist. Both arrays should have the same size. The array must be two dimensional with one dimension having length of two if just x is provided and y equal to none. Alternative It is used to define the alternative hypothesis like a two-sided, less and greater. Let's see with an example. Import the required method or libraries. Here we are importing numpy as np. Then we are importing matplotlib. And after we are importing linear regress method and t method for student distribution from package scipy.stats. Execute the code. Then creating a random number generator and generating xy data. So to create a random number generator, np.random.default rng method. Then we are generating xy data using that random generator. Execute the code. After this, pass the generated data to a method linear regress to compute a linear regression. Then check the slope and intercept of the calculated linear regression. After this, plot the data and the fitted line together on a graph. Execute the code. Let's move to the next topic, Python SciPy confidence interval difference. Let's imagine we want to create a confidence interval for the mean difference between two samples. And we have two sets of data from a matched pair experiment that are not independent of one another. What steps are involved in determining the confidence interval? Let's understand with an example. Import the required libraries or method. So here we are importing module stats from library scipy. Then we are importing numpy as np. Execute the code. Now specify the 95% level of confidence which is represented by alpha. Execute the code. Create a two sample data using a method np.array execute the code now compute the difference between a sample and a number of observation in each sample execute the code also compute the mean variances critical value and a radius of a confidence interval Execute the code. At last, compute the confidence interval difference. Execute the code. This is how to compute the confidence interval difference. Move to the next topic, Python SciPy confidence interval sample. In this section, we will build a function that calculates the confidence interval from the given data. Let's build a method for a confidence interval. Import the required method or libraries. Here we are importing module stats from library scipy. Then we are importing numpy as np. Execute the code. After this, we are creating a method or function mconf interval which accepts two parameter samp data and confid samp data is a data whose confidence interval we want to calculate and confid represent the level of confidence which is 95 percent by default then we are applying np.array method on sample data and multiplied it with one after this, we are finding the length of the data and also computing the mean and standard error of the data. Then we have used the method t.ppf of module stats 
to compute the percentile by multiplying it with standard error. Then we are returning the mean and the lowest and highest value of the confidence interval. Execute the code. Now create a sample data and pass this sample data to a method mconfigInterval to compute the confidence interval. Execute the code. As we can see, the mean is a 5.14 and the confidence interval range is from 2.72 to 7.55. This is how to compute the confidence interval from the given data. Now the last topic of this tutorial is Python SciPy confidence interval binomial. An expression of the likelihood that a value would take a one of two independent values under a set of condition or assumption is the binomial distribution. The confidence interval will be computed using the binomial distribution in this section. The Python SciPy module SciPy.stats has a method binom.interval. Using this method, we will compute the confidence interval. Let's do some example. Import the required libraries or method. So here we are importing stats module from the library scipy and importing numpy as np. Execute the code. Then creating a sample data. Execute the code. Now we are using a method binom.interval of a module stats and pass the sum of the parameter alpha equal to 0 0.99 which represent the 99% confidence level then we have passed the length of the sample data mean of the sample data and standard error of the sample data execute the code as we can see the range of confidence interval is from 8.3 to 14.3. This is how to compute the confidence interval for binomial distribution. I hope that you have enjoyed the tutorial about Python SciPy confidence interval. And don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.